Hello and welcome back to Modding with an Iron Fist. Today we are going to look at how to use Project Iron Fist scripting capabilities with a Lua scripting language to let you add all kinds of fun and interactive features to your maps. Lua is used in all sorts of other games, including Heroes 5, and now we brought it into Heroes 2 with Project Iron Fist. Let's have a look at the map that we are going to script. It's this little toy map called Hordes, created just for this demo. And what we are going to do is make it so that at the start of every week, each hero will get 50 new skeletons. The first thing we need to do is figure out where to put and what to name our script. We go into to the Heroes 2 Maps folder and find that the file name for this map is hordes.mx2 and thus we'll go into the scripts folder that Project Iron Fist creates when you install it and name our map hordes.mx2.lua. This is Notepad Plus. I highly recommend it for doing text editing and programming and scripting on Windows. All right. The first thing we need is a trigger to tell the game when to run different parts of our script. If you look in the documentation, we'll see we have a few scripts, a few triggers available. We're always looking for ideas for new ones. We're going to use this new day trigger and then check whether it's the start of a week. So this trigger will fire at the start of every new day and that's all the information it needs so we leave the second part blank. And then we'll name a function that will be called at the start of a new day. We'll call it Grant Weekly Recruits. And now we get to write this Grant Weekly Recruits function. For now, let's just have it display a flavorful message. More troops have risen to join our cause. Now we save the script, reload our map, and boom, there's our message, displaying every day. Let's make it only run at the start of the week. We have a nice function, get day, that will let us check whether it is day one. So let's do that. If get day equals one, then we just show our message and not otherwise. There we have it displaying on day one, but not on day two or three. But if we get all the way back to day one again, then we'll see it. Okay, now let's actually give those creatures. So we're going to loop through all heroes, so we need to know what player we are. We are the first player, player zero. So let's get player zero. Now we're going to loop through all the heroes. The heroes are numbered 0, 1, and 2, since we have three heroes. Or more generally, we have get num heroes heroes. Alright, so we're going to loop from i equals 0 to get num heroes minus 1. Looping through here. Heroes numbers one, 0, 1, and 2, in the case we have three heroes. Now we're going to get to that hero. A 
and give him some troops. Let's see it running. All right, 15 new skeletons to everyone. Let's see it happening again next week. Another 50 skeletons. So that's just a very simple example of the kinds of things that you can add to your maps using Project Iron Fist scripting. We also saw in a, in a previous video an example where we use it to add a quest where when you bring in a certain artifact to a certain castle then it builds a super mage guild with extra spells. We look forward to seeing all the kinds of things you can come up with we have this nice documentation of all the scripting capabilities. We'd love your ideas for more things we can put here. See you next time on Modding with an Iron Fist.